What if you told me what? Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow playing a uh, video game, Better Fight Six. Uh, wouldn't you have it? Uh, by sheer happenstance, by accident, it appears that my computer believes we're in Shanghai right now, and not in uh, my usual Canadian province. So, uh, I guess that we'll just go ahead and shift some sand around, since, you know, it is a quote-unquote 10 p.m. All right, it's this level here. It's not about shifting sands. What's gonna happen? Yeah, it's the moon there. It's bored. Is there- okay, so that's the same. Okay, you still hurt. Interesting. This level... It's a completely different level, isn't it? Oh, I'm all small. Like, I think that's the same. But yeah, instead, it's some kind of airship level. And not just riding out. Oh, that just destroyed. It's pretty good. What? Don't know how that happened. I read that as methane deserts. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, so, okay, uh, this is an adaptation of a completely different level. Uh, it's an airship type thing. Yeah, I'm saying that as if you couldn't see that. The bomb exploded. Okay, I did not notice. We... See, there's a pipe up there, and I wonder if that matters? Gonna assume that no. I shouldn't make. Thank you, Moon. All right, so don't just care. Rebombs for excessive amounts of time. Uh, moon, you miss a guy. So now I blew myself up because I couldn't rely on you, Moon. That's right. I'm blaming you. This is kind of hard. Like this is a much harder level than the original. Do not play at night. Okay, well, there is crime right here. I think you need to destroy the big shy guy that's just kind of living in there, right? Is that how it'd be? Uh, I pressed that wrong direction. Yo, everything is gone! Atacama Desert! Don't run away from me, little bar! I need you to preserve my life for me. Whoa! Screen shift! Technology! Well, that bomb bomb is eventually gonna blow up that shy guy, so I'm not too worried. Just give it time. I guess it's not giving it time? Alright, I did it. I destroyed the world, or at the very least, this flying boat. Everyone is a little confused remote. Check it out. I swabbed that guy with my bushy tail. That's a thing that happened, and then the moon destroyed and prevailed. It's pretty rude. I just ducked, it didn't do much. Alright, can you destroy some people for me, moon? You're not. Well, I'm gonna go inside. Oh, swamp. Ha! <laughs> Desert varnish. All right, we're learning about all the important stuff. Okay. Oh, that was silly. That was a little... And in spite of being a yellow level, it has its own level. That's not right. That is not right. Uh, Highway Tyrant Mario or Toad. Okay, sure. Ooh, I think I remember the base level of this. Highway Tyrant, though, is a pretty scary name. Yeah, it's a level where you pick up the thing and... Alright, just got leaky cubes, got it. So, check it out. So, by the way, other than this... Oh, wait, this is a different kind of fireball, but this seems better. So, alright, let's tyrannize the highways uh, with our blocky friend here. Uh, that is a sunken little uh, coin. Oh, I can go in here if I want. So, like, this kind of does it in terms of, like, uh, yeah, you do that. You're the ground ones. I don't think they're as good. Oh, well, here's a good prize, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and get you going, if you don't mind. Oh, what? I can just pick up anything? Oh! 
Oh, 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 Merry Christmas, okay. So, like, I could just pick this up. And this up. That's how you get that crime coin. I don't know if I can get there. I can even pick up this diagonal if I want. <laughs> this is really silly. Oh, I love it. I got her in an avoidable way, though. It's fine. Like, these are so strong to kill ghosts. Yeah, so with this, I believe this is all the, like, knowledge I have about things that I am missing asterisk. Yeah. Like, some people have posted things to check, like, possibilities faces. But, like, I've been listening to people that I know have the game beaten, and I know where things are, can be found. And I'm kinda sticking to that and not speculation. Because we know now that, you know, the game may hint at things that will not do anything. So... That's just how things be, and we gotta be careful about that. There's one thing that I know, however. Uh, some peeps have asked about the possibility of, um... This reverse pyramid, there's treasure, there's crime at the very least. About putting all the passwords on the password field. Well, here's the thing. This is literally impossible. Angel last night sent me a DM on Discord informing me that indeed, uh, if Betor was still on the Star Hub, eventually by speaking to him he would give me a password. A password which I cannot have anymore. So, inputting all password is for me an impossibility. He did give... Angel did type down in the uh, spoiler what the password is, but I didn't look at it because I shouldn't have it. I think what I'm gonna do is I might take a look at it after I beat the whole game. Just, you know, for the sake of completion. But, uh, yeah. For this playthrough, this will be impossible. This really is a straight up level, except I'm just kind of burning the entire universe, by the way. I hope you don't mind. Like, that is what it is. No more, no less. That's not a way to get to the famous castle. I don't know if I like this. This is a yellow level that has two exits because I guess it's two ex very different levels that share the same area. Like, that's the reality of it. Something about a reward, though. I don't know what the reward is. If there's more to this, I mean, I guess it's possible, but... I want to go in the first ship, maybe, that has a big pipe that you might be able to enter. This might be difficult, though. But I can fly for me. Here. Okay, you cannot enter this. Um, yeah, otherwise, I don't see what else there would be. I mean, no, the prize was a brand new level that was really silly and has a funny name. Okay, so, what do we do now? I promised a long time ago that, uh... Wait, is this how we got to the Star World here? I think it is. Yeah, you go from here. It's a little bit detached. I promised we'd had a password day. And I think this is a pretty good time to have, indeed, a password day. We're gonna go through all the various pass- Oh yeah, we're gonna have the night- We got the nighttime hub. Uh, we got passwords. Let's put down passwords. If something terrible happens, it's not my fault. You, uh, yes. Wait. Do I remember everything here? Ah. Yeah, so you can use base game team. All right, escape orb. I've actually used that Pocket flock. Can you do it here? No And that I think is probably gonna kill me. Oh, so that's pocket flock Birds <laughs> <laughs> and I turn and I sell it to a coin and suffocate to death. Would I suffocate? I don't even have lungs, so like, I do not have the apparatus to suffocate. But I guess you just stop being a, a being is what it boils down to. But yeah, escape or is something I've literally used. He's finally here! 
Okay. I'm not gonna use that. Look, it says do not use if you are being recorded. I'm not using that. I am not using that. That's... no. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is what, finally here? He's finally here and paranoid. Just gonna go where there's maybe a little bit more clearing room. He's finally here. He's... Okay. Oh, there you go! He's finally here. Storming for you. Paranoia overcomes you. Paranoia. Whoa, boy. Do not spin jump. Alright. Pretty straightforward. Uh, paranoia. It's unfortunate that baseline uh, keyboard binding of Smebex puts the, a, the spin jump button in that because that's fun. Alright. So, now we got the orange one. All right, so there's no point in putting that uh, because I don't know if we're gonna have any loading, but that's there. Is that please, my love, give me a leaf? Okay. All right. So please, let's see if it does anything here. Please, my love, give me a leaf. I heard some sound effects. Thing is, I don't know if it's gonna have an effect here. Did it have an effect here? Okay, well, it is looking likely that it did have an effect here, but... Like, I feel like I, I heard sound effects, which normally implies that something, something, but... That's how- okay, okay, so this, this, this house is what I saw yesterday uh, that someone posted. What did I do yesterday? I'm starting to think that the trigger for this house to exist is uh, putting the Mogus code. Because that's where Mr. Mole gave me all the money in the universe. All $1,884 of it. Can you not enter here? Oh, you go into here. Hey, buddy! Uh-huh. That the forest has some quick and greedy salesmen who want a big... So this is... Okay. Well, there you go. So here's the clue to the whole Elagor thing. And then you get zipped away. That's me, Zippy Steve! <laughs> so, what is- yo, yeah, so... You would get here after you put Mogus, that, his house there. And he till he gives you, honestly, very explicit instructions on what to do with that illegal amount of money that he himself gave you. So really, all you were all this time was a mule to get his excess cash to that excess guy. Like, I feel like that's what it boils down to. I think I was involved in a crime. I'm not doing that. And I did ask 8-Ball. All the design on the... Yeah, every book has a unique little design. This is the Snowflake book. Classic experience. Summon bird. Twig mode. Classic experience. So, oh, but this... I guess it needs to be like enemies? Cause, yeah, I'm not... Unless we need to talk to them? Hey, what time is it? Wild. Or maybe the thing needs to, like, reload? I mean, I could go out and have a fight. Oh, yeah. Summon birds and twig moat. Why is it not working? It's not working. I'm doing summon... summoning birds? Is there... Summon eight birds. Wow. 
That is not birds! And we can see the pro- That is really silly. Ask! <laughs> Uh, I mean, it is incredibly distracting, and also, I lost my books? That's bad. Let's reload the level. <laughs> so, summon eight birds transformed all the enemies, and the book lied to me, basically, straight out. Twig mode! That's twig mode! The door's still there, it's just the graphic is gone. Not what I thought it would be, but okay. Fair enough. A lot of these codes are very useful, as we can see. <laughs> They're very good. Uh, the Melting Heart book. Black Hole! Alright. Gaslight, yeah. Okay. Uh, that is certain area. It said swamp, like someone translated that and that's like a swamp in the code. So like, I'm not gonna hunt down the swamps to test this out, but we know it's there. But what is it? Is it just black hole? Black hole, alright. Let's black hole it up. I don't know why I did that. Oh, that is fast! <laughs> I love I get the little twing to save myself. That is funny. Okay. Um, alright. Next. Where do we go? I don't know. So that was um so I'm not I'm not even doing all of them, I guess, but it's just some of them are a bit more involved. The bee book! Hey there everyone! We tried that! It's a mess. Gate key, we've used that a lot. Right, that is quite enough, my love. Remove the leaves. So I think I might have been put the code wrong last time. Like, we're not getting- like, I'm typing that. that that is quite enough, my love. Remove the leaves. I typed it, so I'm gonna have to assume it's gonna work. The eyeball book! Call for backup! Girl boss, we know what that does. And go Goomba, do not use in red. That's Luigi! Uh, I can't- oh. Can I do this here too? Yeah, like the whole story's about you now, Luigi. How do you feel about that? Uh huh. I love the sound it makes. <sighs> also, yeah, there's um. Oh, are you now just permanently? Oh, okay, I can still do that. So here's the thing. It says do not use. Go go Goomba. I think everyone thinks it's gonna do the Go Go Goomba from Better of Fight 2. I don't think it's gonna do that, but it says do not use. I trust it. I don't know what it's going to do. And I don't know what it's gonna do. Like, do I believe that it might do something as extreme as... I don't know, man, deleting the save file? Undoing progress in some way? I don't know. I legitimately do not know, and I don't want to take that risk. Maybe that makes me a coward? And honestly, fine. I'm good with being a coward. If it means I'm alive, I'm not doing it. Maybe it's a thing we can do at the very end, but um, very, very end after I beat Luigi World or something. I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah. All right, let's just do old age. So we just heard that k cluck so I'm guessing it worked. Like, I don't... I don't see why I would age myself a billion times. Link... Linkage swag. Linkage gang. Linkage... Yeah! Yeah, it's swag mode! <laughs> I mean, I don't have any enemies around me. Linkage gang. I can still do it. 
Yeah, I did the sound, but there's no enemies around. Deuce Ek. Deuce Ek Linkage. Hey! <laughs> uh, those are the toggles. I've used these. They're not as useful as you'd wish. There is one code. I think it's a code. Presto Papano Triple uh, Gun Killer. <laughs> so, that is like an actual attack if you can stand to just sit there and type for three hours. Like, if you have the space to do that. You can! And it gives you a big old laser gun sort of thing. And that was uh, our review of the mu- the music. I, I've got music in the mind because of swag mode being active. But those are the- so there's those that I summoned. Uh, yeah, uh, I summoned a bunch of linkage morphs, so uh, I guess that's where they are. My age is now 38. Humidity is pretty high. I died a few times. Oh, the text is in front of me. Heroic Soul Master single. I did kill Sven. Wait, why are you here? What up? <laughs> Thank you. Immune to all toxins! Uh, but amidst all that, I lost some trinkets, but also, I think... But also, there are still three question... like, sets of question marks. And I have no clue what that means. It's kind of scary to think about. Okay, well... Oh... Oh, it's all the NPCs, maybe. Uh, maybe I should undo the code? Well, just, like... If I go in a normal level... That's kind of a normal level. But it says nearby. Nearby probably means within the level, because see here... Everything seems to be kind of like what you'd expect. Alright, fair enough. Okay! As far as I know, this is everything. That I know about. There could be more that I don't know about, though, but... One last call for anything... Like, like, like I said, I know it's fun to speculate. I'm sure a lot of people have ideas out there they want to try. But I am specifically asking people who have played this game and might know secrets. Anything that I've missed about, just give me a place. And I'll see if I can figure something out. If I don't get any such message, next time, it's Luigi time.